Look at these huge mushrooms. <sighs> these are the biggest portobello mushrooms I've ever seen. And they're not even fully grown yet. Right? Like they make another stage where they um, completely unfold. So they could have been bigger, actually. Wow. Damn! Those are big mushrooms. I could make... I could have an entire meal of mushrooms, but that would be pretty silly and stupid. But yeah, pretty cool, right? I'm kind of like intrigued by <laughs> by foods when they have like a, a big size. Yeah, some close up. These were pretty cheap, 150 for both of them, and they're organic. The crazy things you get on the market. I got something else too. These mango steens, I've actually already had a couple of them. It's considered the queen of fruits, whereas um, I think mangoes are considered the king of fruits. So this is the queen of all fruits. So people, um, <clears throat> some people consider this to be like the tastiest fruit ever. I don't think that. I think they're kind of tasty, but they're incredibly expensive. Uh, another time I've paid, I think, three euros for small for uh, for three small fruits and this was an entire bag this is an entire kilo of them for four euros but um you actually have to crack them and they have a very thick shell so like for all the fruitarians that are like you know like oh you never have to crack a fruit or something or it's always easy to open up a fruit i mean a a, a a melon or whatever you can just throw that on the ground and you have all the watermelon you need for that entire day well you can throw this on the ground but it wouldn't break like the consistency of the shell this isn't really made for you know breaking when you throw it against the ground you really need a tool to open this thing so that's pretty interesting kind of another way to you know <laughs> talk about the the tool argument i guess like, yeah, you cannot even break any fruit without tools, so, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty expensive, sure, but, um, you know, a nice treat nonetheless. I, In my opinion, they are tasty, but they aren't very tasty. You don't really get that much fruit from the entire bag either. I think maybe like a third of this is like edible, so... That's four euros for 300 grams of edible food. Whereas these, these were pretty cheap and they are magnificent. Wow, it's almost a shame to, to eat these. Like they just kind of want to, how do they do it? Like preserve them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm going to eat these. So uh, yeah, just showing you some, some big ass mushrooms. Have a nice day everyone. Look at what I found here. <laughs> Whoa, this is also a really big mushroom. <laughs> Whoa, this is the biggest I've ever seen. The, um, what's it called? I don't know. I forgot the, the name. In the Dutch we call it an, um, an Elfebankje. Which translates to Elven seat. Elven bench? I'm sure that that's not how people usually call them in the English language. But this is pretty cool.